Hey there, folks. My name is Dazerin, and welcome back to Never Ending Nightmares, where I am super on edge, and everything about this is just the worst. I've got my finger on the sprint button, even though it does not do much good now, does it? Wake up. Okay. Get out of there. Get out of there. I'm always like afraid something is gonna change when I get out of here. Like the freaking duh, the the mannequin. Ugh. It's the worst. Uh As of this recording, I still haven't gotten around to Craven Manor. That's on the list of games to get through, but yeah. I'm terrified of that game too. That is not what I'm looking forward to. I really enjoyed that game. It's really well done, but I am not looking forward to playing it. As of this point, you might still you might be seeing my playthrough. I'm not sure. All right. Okay, so he goes that far there. Start making my move. Yeah. Go! <laughs> oh, just barely made it on that one. Just barely made it. All right. Okay, go through that door. <sighs> like, I just don't know what to expect. Oh, no. Another one. Uh, uh. I... Okay, I'll go. I'll leave you alone. Okay, bye. Nope. Getting out of here. Okay. See you later. See you later. I don't know why I'm even looking at those things, because I just... just <sighs> it's getting more and more freaky and... Kind of <laughs> do something I knew was gonna... I had thought about that happening. Like, I thought about that happening so long ago. Like, that should be something that should happen. Yep, that totally, like, I was, that was an idea that I had when I was looking around. I'm like, something, like, should start moving as I'm going, exiting the door. Nope, see you later. Getting out of here. Hi, backer, whoever you are. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Oh, boy. Okay. I really don't like this. This really sucks. God, the ambience. It is, I am, like, I cannot express just how unsettling and unnerving this game is. The best, the best horror is not knowing what's ha gonna happen. The best, uh, Okay, the best horror is keeping you on your toes. The best horror is anticipation. The most terrible thing you can do to a player or an audience is keep them waiting. Guessing what might happen. Okay. No need to be in here. I... Oh. Okay. A game that keeps you, like, wondering when is the next thing going to happen is amazing. Okay. Just dolls. No, 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 Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. <sighs> yeah, I have a feeling those are the backers. Which, if you were one of the backers, cool. Okay, I'm just going to leave. Just going to get out of there. 
Wrong direction, Thomas. Wrong direction. Uh you just you can't get com you can't get comfortable in this game. You cannot get comfortable ever. You cannot get comfortable. You are constantly block C row six. That takes me back to the Okay, and the insane asylum. Nope. See you guys later. Guess I'm going back to the asylum. Now complete with dolls. Wonderful. Oh god. What happens if the dolls get me? Do I even want to know? I don't think I do. I just gotta go down here. Oh, does he go a different direction? Does he go down at all? Oh no, but there's that guy. How far does he come? Okay, he goes that far. They both breach the end of the carpet. Great. This is going to be something else. I think this probably might be my least favorite of part of the game, is having to get by these guys. Because it's definitely the most challenging part, for sure. Go, 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 Thomas, go, Thomas, go, go, Thomas, go, Thomas, go, go, Ninja, go, Ninja, go. All right. I don't like this. Do I want to go into the Black Abyss? Uh, I'm out. See you guys later. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No. Not another one. Mm. Ah! Ah, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. I don't like it. Okay. Okay. No, I don't like that either. I don't appreciate that. Get down. Yep. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Conserve a little bit. Conserve a little bit. Conserve a little bit. Okay, they're slower than me, I think. I don't think they're... Yeah, they're not fast enough to catch me. So I just gotta run by them. Ugh. Oh, God. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Get out of here. Just get out of here. <sighs> Why does it gotta be dolls? Why does it always have to be dolls? Why does it have to be dolls, mannequins, or other weird, freaky, inanimate objects? Huh? Why? Why does it gotta be something that has a human look to it? I mean, that's why, like, Slendy is so terrifying. He has a human shape, but he's just not human. Fuck. I hate these things. Why do I keep looking at them? I don't know. You've conditioned yourself. <sighs> whoop de doo Okay, moving on. I'm sorry that I'm so apprehensive right now. It's just, uh... Okay. Uh... Not cool, man. Go oh, wake up. Wake up, Thomas. Wake up, dude. Okay. 
Why do I feel like I'm just going backwards now? Because <sighs> I am. I keep making them rounds. Oh, up. get out of there. Oh, shit. I don't hear any enemies. Or any of the one guy. That thing's gonna pick up. Yep. Okay. I've, I've pinpointed which ones will come after me. I think that one right there with no face. Maybe. Yep. Yeah, I've pinpointed which ones. Oh! Oh, great. That wasn't cool, man. That wasn't cool at all. Ugh. Wait, more of what? Hi, how's everybody do? Uh, uh, sis, are you awake? Oh, I don't like this. Was that it? Oh, that was it? That's the end of it? That's one end, I guess? Oh. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Uh. Okay. Whew. All right. Though, that part is important. If you know someone who suffers from mental illness, yes, that's important. Here are all the backers. Um, oh man, I am so like, I was <laughs> going numb. No kidding, my, my hands are so cold and they're going numb now. Oh, my face is going numb. Whew. That was really good. That was really good. I very much enjoyed that. That was very good. Oh, my hands are numb. I'm not kidding. Oh, whew. Okay, final thoughts. Or let's 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 talk about this. Um, so as I said, this game was about the creator Matt Gilgenbach, his uh, struggles with uh, OCD, depression, um, and as somebody who. Ah, there's my name! I saw my name, okay. Um, as somebody who has suffered through depression, who has a, a, a struggle with depression here and there, um, it, it obviously not, I do not have chronic depression, but I have um, depression phases, I guess, where uh, I guess you could say it's a form of bipolar, or, uh, basically where I, I have uh, se you know, se times where I, I feel, I, I don't want to get out of bed, I don't want to do anything, I feel like everything I do is means nothing. Um, so I can understand that feeling, and it, it for me it will. I have bouts of mania, and I have bouts of, of depression. Where you know, three months, three weeks out of the month, I'm I'm happy as can be. I'm fine. I'm great. Um, and then like one week out of every month, I I feel awful. There are other endings. That is the ending that I got. So if you guys want to see the other endings to this, um, you guys can check them out. So if you want to check them out, get the game. I completely recommend you do it. I, I stress that you do. Um, the entire, uh, like, I, if you go and watch uh, Matt's kind of thank you video over this, uh, this game and how well it is received and how well it does will really determine where um, Infinitap Games goes from here. So it is, it is very, very crucial that if you can get this game. Um, but uh, as somebody who suffers from depression uh, and has suffered from depression, has gone through bouts of depression, I completely understand um, how rough it can be to get through. And I think most people don't understand just how bad it can be um, and, and what it can do to a person. And if I think if, if anything can be learned from the Robin Williams thing is that even the funniest people who seem like the happiest people in the world can be depressed, can have thoughts 
that are not normal, that are that are incredibly hard to grasp and to comprehend. Um, and so I, I stress that anybody who has who can't under, who who feels like they don't understand why depression is a thing, or they feel like it's just in your head, it's not a real thing. I implore you to reconsider because depression is a real thing. Depression is something that everybody can suffer from, um, and it is something that I think has a very negative stigma. And I I, I feel like something like this um, at least tries to put into words or into an interactive state uh, what depression really is like, and. Um, this, these never the the nightmares aspect of this. I think is a good way to go. I personally don't feel like I've ever suffered from a, a nightmare style uh, of depression, um, but I can understand how perhaps uh, this is an interpretation of living a nightmare. Um, hence, never ending. Even when you're awake, you feel like you're in a nightmare because it, it is just overwhelming. Um, so I, I highly recommend. You get this game. Um, it is very good. Like I, I'm still, I'm still having trouble feeling my fingers. It is well designed. Um, the scares, the anticipation, um, everything about it seems great. Um, the gameplay itself is a little lacking, but I don't feel like that's the most important thing about this game. And I think that that's why uh, it's. It, I mean, it can. It could have been incredibly well. You know, game. The gameplay could have been perfect and great and stuff like that. Um, but I don't feel like it detracts really from the overall mood and setting of the game. Um, there is some difficulty, obviously, with those blind characters, but I think overall this game is a really good uh, title for atmosphere, for horror, but also for the message of what it can be like to deal with depression. And so, um, if by chance, Matt, you are listening, um, I I appreciate this game in ways I think some people might not understand. So, um, well done. A very good game. Very, very well put together. Um, As a horror game, it kept me on my toes. As a game about depression, um, I can understand. So, uh, that will do it for Night of Ending Nightmares. And uh, Days of Horror, the month of horror, will continue. There's plenty more coming around. We've got more... Uh, we got Craven Manor, we've got uh, Resident Evil Director's Cut, we've got Amnesia, we've got uh, a whole bunch of stuff, so you guys stay tuned for more during this month of horror. So thank you all so much for watching. You guys are make this channel happen, and I thank you very much for that. And I will catch you in the next video. Meow.